I competed in Oklahoma in 2011, in July. It was about a month after I graduated. And whenever I got ready to practice, he just started bucking and I, I knew I was gonna come off. And so I just kind of fell. I don't think I knew exactly that I had a spinal cord injury or that I'd be in a wheelchair or anything like that. But my main concern was I couldn't breathe. But after that, they kind of sit you down and they tell you, like I have no functional movement. Like I can move my arms and my fingers and my hands just a little bit, a little bit, legs and toes, but nothing um, to be able to do like my own daily living activities, like dressing and feeding. And it was really hard at the time because um, I think whenever I was doing my orientation, spinal cord orientation, I was supposed to be here at NC State doing school orientation. One of her nurses, she said, you know you can give up if you want to. And she told me, she said, Kelly said she didn't know how. This is a marathon. It's definitely not a sprint to recovery. And it was definitely a struggle at the beginning, you know. But I wound up here again, so it's okay. Of course, my initial expectations kind of changed a little bit, but after the first initial year, NC State's been awesome. You couldn't ask for a better place. We've been places, we've been to the Bahamas, couldn't get around. <laughs> NC State is probably, as far as accessibility, it's pretty close to perfection. Kelly came to RHA back about 2013 and she was looking for um, supports. Her dream was to go to school. I will say the animal science was a much harder major and kinda definitely made me work really hard and be more confident. Kelly's role in coming here back to RHA, she had reached out and said, John, I'd like to uh, give back to the families. After getting injured and having a really awesome counselor help me navigate through my life, I kinda felt like this is like where my life was heading for, that I wanted to help others with disabilities. Kelly brings uh, an understanding. She's uh, been a part of the program. Uh, she has, uh, has received supports within the program. And so I think it's uh, hope and, and encouragement for the families and, and others to see how she's navigated the system and had uh, supports in place for her to, uh, to continue um, her life dreams. Her story um, and just her drive and wanting to um, continue school. I think she has a, a bright future ahead of her. I was accepted into the master's program here at NC State for social work and it starts in the fall. I think a lot of individuals think that they can't go back to school, especially with high injuries, think that they can't go back to school, that they don't have support, that they can't be independent somewhat and have a job and do what they want to do and I'm definitely proof that that's definitely not true and that you can be successful in different areas. Without her, I definitely wouldn't be able to have this great accomplishment.